Hey everyone, this is Hers Quasar playing some Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This video is going to give you a few tips on how to keep your game running smoothly and a few tricks inside the game itself um, that I've had a lot of questions on as far as engine swaps, painting rims, and renaming some files. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? So whenever we have a download, Whenever we have an update, hot fix, whatever you want to do, if your game's not running right, first and foremost is just restart Steam. Shut it down, restart it. If that doesn't work, shut it down, reboot the computer, and restart it. Um, after you've done all that, jump on over here to the left-hand side where it says Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Do a right-click and select Properties. And here you want to select the local files. And down at the bottom, verify the integrity of game files. And what this will do is go into your computer, make sure all the correct files are in the right place, and just make sure the integrity of them are great. Now, if you're running a, a hacked version of this game, beware. I'm not even sure if it's going to work for you. But for those of us that have a legitimate copy, um, Steam goes in and makes sure all your files are in the correct folders. You have the correct files. And this will ultimately help you with your gaming experience. So if you ever have issues inside the game, those are the first three things I would do. Try to restart Steam, restart to reboot your computer, restart Steam, and do a file integrity check. More times than not, at least in my experience, it has always, always, always fixed my issues. So as you see, it doesn't take very long. It's done, it's 100% complete, and all files were successfully validated. So we're good there. Another thing that you may want to do is early in the game, um, the cloud was messing up with Steam. I don't know if it was between Red Dot and Steam or if it was Steam itself. And sometimes that can still be an issue within the game. Now, I'm not entirely sure what it does, what it did for me. But I do know that early game, when I first got this, I had this on two different PCs, on my laptop and on my desktop. And without any download contents or anything, I was able to go into the game, play on the laptop, shut it down, go to my desktop and pick up right where I left off from my laptop, which was kind of convenient. However, with all the problems, I had to shut it off because there was just too many issues going on, cars disappearing, just a lot of things happening. So another word of advice is to shut that off. And how to do that is to go into your Steam uh, menu up here, go to your settings, and then cloud, right here in cloud. If this is checked, enable Steam cloud synchronization for applications which support it, uncheck it, okay? Go ahead and uncheck it. That way, you just don't have to worry about that cloud piece. Also, while you're here, we'll talk about screenshots a little bit later. But make sure this is checked. This is open to screenshot uploader after closing a game if the screenshots were taken. And what this will do for you is it will open a window up after you've closed the game of all the screenshots that you've taken while you were playing and allows you to upload them directly to Steam and under your profile. Um, in that box, and I'll show you when we shut it off and go through it, you can find out where your stored files are on your hard drive. Okay, they're not always just going up to Steam. They will be on your hard drive, and, we'll, and I'll show you how to get to that. But make sure your cloud's unchecked. Make sure your screen loader, your uh, screenshot uploader is checked. Now, if you have to mess with those, okay, what will happen is it'll ask you to reboot um, Steam. You'll have to restart Steam so those actions can take effect. All right. Okay. So hopefully that'll work. Work out for you. Now on to some other stuff. Now, um, had some people, um, some pretty bad shape uh, a couple of days ago. Um, a lot of files got deleted off of the Steam Workshop. Unfortunately, if you were subscribed to those vehicles in the Steam Workshop, 
those vehicles disappeared from your game. And I'm going to show you a quick tri trick on how to keep that beloved file that you found at the workshop on your game. So today we're going to jump into the workshop. We'll find Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And what I am going to do, there is one particular car that I've seen that I want, and it is by Lit. So if I just type in Lit's name, hopefully it comes up with all of Lit's cars. Okay. The one I am searching for is probably an older one that he had. Um, I'm pretty sure it was done by Lit. Um, I am not finding a. Maybe I was wrong. So, what I'm looking for is an Acura. We searched up. Uh, I am sorry, it is Gollywog. It is Gollywog's car. It wasn't by Lid, it was Gollywog. So, this is the Acura RSX. Now, I came across this earlier tonight, and when that picture showed up, I immediately thought, need for speed. And happened to scroll down, and lo and behold, Gollywog has bring the underground feeling to Car Mechanic Simulator. Awesome. I love this car in Need for Speed. I want it. So what you want to do is subscribe. Now, hopefully, if you see down at the bottom, it's going to automatically download to your game. All right. Once it's completed downloading, we can jump into the files and do some playing. Hopefully, this is all going to show up for you. We're going to go into C drive, program files, Times 86, go into Steam, Steam Apps, Workshop. We're going to go into Content, this 645630, and this number right here, guess what? It is the Acura RSX. So I want to keep this car in my files, and if something were to happen to this file, whether Steam got shut down or um, for any reason I couldn't get the, the car disappeared off the Steam Workshop. You can still keep it. So what you want to do is you want to copy this file. Right? We'll copy this file. Now we're going to go back to Steam Apps and then we're going to jump up to Common. Right? Go into Car Mechanic Simulator. Go into the data file go to streaming assets and cars here's a list of all the cars that are on my hard drive all right so we're just going to jump up here and we're going to paste this into our file we're going to find it there it is right there now we need to rename this file you see how the all the names are a little bit different than this number file so this number file is not going to work just leave it that way so let's open up this file and we're going to take the cms file right there. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to click rename. What it does is it's going to highlight the name of it. All I'm going to do is copy that. Okay. And click off of it. Don't rename this otherwise you will not get good results. You will not find this car. We'll jump back into the cars file. What I'm going to do is rename this and then paste that name in there. Now what you want to do is get rid of the car underscore. Right, back off that, hit enter, and right there it is. Right now it is in my files, and all I need to do is find it in the junkyard or wherever I can find it. Um, let's see. According to Gollywog, it can be found anywhere. So it's junkyard. Uh, the car showroom, the salon, could be at the auction, so or a barn find. So it could be anywhere. Um, one thing to note on any car 
that you want. All right. Take a look over here to the right hand side. It says required DLC, download content. Okay. Some of the modders use some of the download content from other download contents like the Plymouth download or the, the, the Dodge, the Mazda, the Jeep. If they use any of those parts from any of those download contents, they will post them over here and you must have this download content for this car to work in your game. All right. Some people show up and they say, hey, you know, uh, I found the car, but it doesn't have an engine in it. Where's the engine? Well, the engine was a uh, it was a Hemi. OK, well, they don't have neither the Dodge download content or the Plymouth download content. So guess what? Engine's not going to be there because they don't have that content. So make sure you double check over here before you start downloading any vehicle. Make sure you have the correct download content for this car to work in your files. All right. Okay, another thing to point out is after you've transferred all your files over, make sure you come down here and hit the unsubscribe button. Now, the reason why you want to do that is because Steam and Car Mechanic Simulator will try to pull files from both the workshop and from your hard drive whenever this car loads into the junkyard or any other place. This may throw some conflicts in the game and you may experience some odd issues with the car. Uh, bumpers not fitting, uh, ghosted parts, whatever. So you always want to unsubscribe from the car after you've transferred your files over. Now the downside to this is if Gollywog decides to update this car, the updates aren't going to automatically hit your, your PC. Okay, because you have it just on your hard drive. Or, um, I mean, anything else, if he decides to update it, like I said, yours won't get updated. You would have to come in, re-download it, and copy all the files over again. All right? So that's the downside to that. All right. So I think we have everything all set up. I think what we can do is jump in the game, shall we? All right. Now getting into the game, there's a couple of things we can do here. First of all, what we want to do is make sure our Honda RSX or our Acura RSX ooh, is in the showroom. This will tell me that the gate that the car did load correctly into the game so it was an Acura and this is all alphabetical order right there it is Acura RSX type S we'll look at it very cool now up here you can change the type S there's a couple of different types He's got, there you go. This will be the version I will be looking for in the game. All right, let's go back to the main menu, shall we? All right, some other things you may want to check, your settings, all right? Video settings right here right now I've got my graphics on high adjust these down to low medium or whatever to try to help along your frame rate in your game you can also play with some of these others other settings try to get your game to um, work a little bit better in here we can change the language uh, this mouse acceleration unrealistic tire sizes right here make that yes because you want to make sure that you can get every available size of tire you can get enable travel fees you want to shut off that travel fee to your uh, salon or to the junkyard eh, shut it off okay display units imperial or metric miles or kilometers whatever you prefer. Here is your steering sensitivity. 
you're running those tracks you may want to bump that down a little bit which actually for me oh, wow I'm gonna knock it down to about 90% just to see always hit a fly back back again if you want to know what you've done in the game there's all your stats right here don't know if it's actually correct and it only happened uh, we only got this uh, probably about what six months after the game came out probably all right download contents these are all the download contents that are installed on the game all right and we've gone through all that I believe that's enough that we need to go look at let's jump in the game shall we all right welcome to my garage all right so a few things in here let's start off with some rims all right all right I've got my rat rod in here I'm fully sick this is one of the versions in the game that he has what we're gonna do is we're going to paint some rims now I'm not sure if I want chrome or if I want red but you're going to see so no matter what to paint these rims we have to separate them from the tires you can buy them straight out of the um, straight out of the store and paint them that way but for my purpose here I need to take them off the rims I want to keep the same rims and tires I just want to paint them all right Oof. now I set my graphics on high so when I spin almost blurs it gets me a little dizzy so I may have to set that back down to medium I, think I liked it better on medium maybe I'm just getting old all right first and foremost do not have a car in here all right reason why you want this parts we want to paint a rim now in here I'm gonna paint one chrome and let's see which one is it here I think the brightness so that is chromey all right I'm gonna paint one one chrome back to the garage and we're gonna paint the other one and unfortunately it doesn't tell you which one's painted and which one's not so if you do this um, with four rims uh, my advice is the next one that's lined up is the one that has not been painted the one that's been painted is usually the last one so this one's selected so I'm going to guess that's it and it is this one I am thinking I want to go with a red and maybe um, my C button here get somewhat an idea of how it looks like now I want to get a darker red Um, 50 let's go 60 okay, I'm gonna go 60 all right now if you're gonna paint all four rims right write down that color mixer number setup you want all your rims to be painted the same color write those down because you can't paint all four rims at the same time and when you jump back into here you never know what these settings will be at so make sure you write these down so you make sure all four rims get painted the same and you know what you paint a part for a hundred bucks you paint a car for a hundred bucks that's kind of crazy all right we've got one painted red one painted chrome so the chrome one Ooh, look at that nice and shiny Ooh, nice and shiny Ooh, looks like it needs to be buffed out a little bit all right balance her up all right next one up well this one shows it's red all right 
And you know what? That was a metallic red, wasn't it? So... That's not exactly what I wanted to do. But take that one off. Mistake number one. Alright, let's go back to the paint shop. Alright, so now this one tells me it's painted red. I guess the chrome doesn't work that well. Ah, paint type. I want this to be a matte. I want it to chrome. No. Red chrome? Eh. No. Pearl? No. Matte. I wanted a matte finish. So let's try that again. Oh yeah. Painted chrome is here. I've already seen a lot of cars from the face on the Facebook page with some chrome painted cars. And I'll tell you what, some of them are looking pretty awesome out there. Really gives you a limitless idea of what to do with these things. The only limit is your imagination. Trust me. There you go, there's a painted rim. So yeah, with uh, the painting of these rims, I mean, just it's just endless of what you can do with the vehicle. So let's put the red one on this side. Let's see what it looks like. All right. Yeah. Want to know if I uh, should keep them red, keep them natural, or Oh. Yes, I know these are Jeep rims on a Chevy truck. Ooh, I'm kind of liking the chrome myself. I don't know. It's a rat rod, so, you know, I think the red would do it. But there you go, painted rims. Pretty, pretty nifty, huh? All right, looking pretty good. All right, so what else do we have? Um, over here I have a uh, 46 Gasser 57 Chevy. Um, still haven't done much to it yet. But that will come in time. So what I have here is a bolt cape. What am I going to do with this? Well, let me show you. In the car info file. Or the info file, right? Over here, next to your dyno curves, are all the engines that you can build and put or swap into this car okay only these engines now I have a theory about this you notice how they're all V8 overhead valve all right and then you have V8 dual overhead valve or DOHV I believe um, with all these motors it's pretty much the same block and exhaust setup so when you put these in, everything lines up, everything's perfect, it's all good to go. You would not want to try and, and cram a uh, V8 dual overhead cam into this car because the exhaust wouldn't line up, all right? So what we have in it now, look at this. This is probably one of my first builds. I try to make it like a real light purple as uh, some of the old Impalas, if you remember them, they had this kind of a light purple look to them. Um, may have to repaint this later. Anyway, we have the single valve V8 in it. So what you want to do when you're looking at this car data, right, is decide which engine you want to build. And for me, I think I'm just going to be funny about it. And I think I want to try the overhead valve Hemi. Eh, why not, right? So, a little bit of prep work here. What I need to do is drain the oil from this beast.
<laughs> well, that's draining. I need to remove drive shaft. That's uh wow, didn't like that. Definitely going to have to change my settings. Let's take the transmission out. All right. To go there. Put you back. Let's drop you down. All right, so we're going to go over the Hemi, right? All right. So let's go over the engine stand. Right click on the engine stand and there's a icon up here that says create new engine. Yes, I do. There's a whole list of engines down here. Now you're going to have to kind of scroll through. And this is something we may have to address because there is no scroll bar down here. And if you go, oh, wait a minute, it was back here. And you can't really get back there. You have to start all over. So that's kind of an issue. But we'll slowly scroll through here. And you notice there wasn't any V6s, I6s, or anything else. So I'm looking at um, the Hemi, right? Did you notice in these pictures, these transmissions are probably the same too. Probably set up the same way, V8 overhead. This is the one we want to build. So I'm going to select it. See how it disappeared? But if you right click on it, or if you click on it and you add a part, it tells you right there in the middle of the screen, I need engine block V8 overhead valve C. So, let's get the building, shall we? So am I clicking it off? Overhead C. Now I know I'm going to need a few things. I'm going to put some performance parts in it as well. Um, Dun, 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 dun. Not sure what your filter fits in it, but that's okay. You will get to that. I know it takes that top. I believe it's this bottom. Yeah? Yeah, I'll buy it anyway. Orange engines always use those. Um, I am believing the cam gear is overhead valve. Uh, where am I? There we go. Get one of those. Um, open a cam shaft is the same as what I'm thinking. I need a couple of these clips. All right. Uh, crankshaft. Overhead valve V8, I believe it is. Let's all right. Ah. So let's add a part. All right. All right. I think we are all set. Man, that has got a lot of color on it. Alright. Ready to put that into that? Okay. Give me one sec. Alright. Ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Let's take you over here. Let's put your movie over to... All right, we are going to pull the engine out. Ooh, look at that, pretty, pretty. It is out, right? Okay, come over here. We're gonna take this one off the stand. Now, if this is supposed to work right, we're gonna do this one. Emmy, right? Boom, guess what's in there? Oh my goodness, it's the Emmy. Woo! All right, let's move you out of the way. Let's take a look up underneath. Yeah, 
And what do you know? Look at that. The exhaust lines up. Sweet. Alright. Um, the one piece I forgot to get, I need to get. I forgot to throw out bearing. Bigger, right? Alright, let's see if the same transmission hooks up. Nope. Oh, look at that. I have to put in a different transmission. So. Um, eh, heck, just for giggles, I'm going to go with uh, a tunable one. Why not? Right? If they have one, I may, may not have an F. Oh, yes, they do. I was wrong. Silly, silly me. All right. So, you may have to change the transmissions on these too. But the biggest thing is, is that these things line up with the present exhaust system that's on a car. I really believe that's what drives what engine goes in what car. Um, so, honestly, don't get mad if the, your favorite engine can't get put in the car that you want. Hey, there's always the editor. I always do all kinds of crazy stuff in the editor. Alright, where's the oil? There we go. Throw some oil in this. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so now we have a Hemi in the bolt cape. Nice. Alright, so this is an in-game car, of course, and it has this. Um, modded cars. If you look, they don't have anything. The modder may not have updated the file for it yet, okay? If you're subscribed. If you've got these cars on your hard drive like I do, um, you have to wait to see when the modder is going to update the files, if they update the files. And if they do, they should have an announcement on there, on the workshop, when it was last updated and that they've updated to the engine swap configuration. All right. Now, I have found the Barracuda, the Plymouth Barracuda. All right. I don't have one here, um, but I'll show you in a few minutes. The Plymouth Barracuda, just because the way the engine is set up in it, you don't have any options for that. Let's take this puppy. A dino. Alright. the door open. Got all the paint fumes out. Alright. Wanna run a dino? Why, yes we do. So now you changed it, the icon up in the upper left hand corner has changed too. For your Hemi. Factory at 410 horsepower, what do we gain out of this? What? All those parts and I only had... I only got that? Really? Huh. Well, it might be also because I have the stock exhaust. Um, so, that's actually part of probably a thing I didn't upgrade the exhaust on it now we had give me some horsepower as well um, um, yeah that would have given me a more horsepower but there you have it in the engine and a bolt cape nice all right so let me see what I have a available here to show you yeah um, yeah we'll jump in here all right welcome to my level one of my levels one of my mini levels uh, so this is the TBX and as you can see everything's overhead valve V8 overhead valve for this cheap train bandit. These are all the engine swaps you can do in that. Now if you noticed in the newer Corvette looking cars in the game, 
the only things you can do are the dual overhead or the single overhead boss rear wheel drive engines, okay? So, they have a little more limitations to it, and as I said, I believe it has to deal with the block and the exhaust. Alright. So, that's for that. Um, same with these Corvette, they've got like just tons of them. See it scrolling back and forth, just decide which one you want to build and go for it. Alright. See, this is a modded car. I actually edited this GTX. I have actually lowered it a little bit and uh, pulled the track in a little bit on it. Um, it's the start of my Fast and Furious car collection on the level, in the second level. You know, Fast Furious 3. Uh, what was this one? 7? Maybe 8? Fast and Furious 3? Too Fast, Too Furious? I don't know. Brian O'Connor's nice little eclipse. The Silva Mona Lisa. Yes. And this is the Barracuda I was telling you about. Now, yes, I have edited this because what I wanted was the Triple um, A Cuda from the Fast and Furious movie that uh, Letty was drag racing at the very beginning of the movie. So I've lowered it a little bit. But I've checked my other two CUDAs that I have, and guess what? You have no swap options. Hmm. Wonder why? Well, look at that hole in the hood. That fits perfectly, so they're not going to mess with that. All right. That doesn't have uh, a reason to swap an engine in it, to be quite honest with you. And um, this engine has some performance parts, so hey, there you go. All right, so we're back in the garage, and last but not least, first, how did you get a custom banner? Well, I'll show you here in a few minutes, all right? I'll show you that. But in the meantime, let's hop into photo mode. Let's take a few pictures of this. Bolt. With... Ah, oh, Hemi! Alright, back this up a little bit and zoom in. There we go. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe we'll take three. And yes, the car's name is Paula, short for Impala. Alright. We've got a few snapshots. Um, all right, I think that's it for the garage tips and tricks. Uh, once you reach level three over here, you have a way to customize your garage. Customize your floor, a couple of drain grates, your walls. So you can customize your garage. So that's always a plus. All right, I think that's it. Let's bounce out right now and I'll show you those files for screenshots. All right, now that I've backed out of the game, I've got all three of my screenshots here that I did of the bolt cape. Okay, I'm going to select all and I'm going to upload them. So if you ever go look at my profile on Steam, you will see these three pictures there. Now you're like, hey Hurst, where are my pictures at on the hard drive? Right here. Come down here and show on disk, right? When you show on disk, it will send you to where your screenshots are. Now this is always different. I don't know why some people, um, it just puts them randomly someplace, I guess, I don't know. But this is where mine are. So as you can tell, I've got tons and tons and tons of screenshots. That's how you find out where your screenshots are. All right, cool. All right. So your garage banner. 
you want to customize garage banner what you want to do is grab your favorite paint program and create a PNG file and this file has to be 2048 by 512 okay 2048 by 512 so 2048 pixels by 512 pixels okay make whatever you want to make save it as a PNG make sure it's this good um, good size now what you want to do is go ahead and jump back into your steam folder we're going to steam steam apps common car mechanic simulator uh, CMS 2018 data streaming assets textures garage banner now what's in there right now is the default one if you haven't changed it already so you take your file that you just created make sure it's a PNG file a dot PNG file drag it over into this folder um, I did not do it but I should have like uh, renamed the original one but make sure you rename it garage banner okay once it's in there um, it will overwrite if you just put garage banner you name it garage banner and you throw it in here it's going to overwrite the other file so if you want to keep the old file I rename it garage banner one then throw this file in rename your new file to garage banner right and that's all there is to it and once you launch the game your garage banner will be there all right i hope everyone enjoyed tonight's uh, little tips and tricks session the motor build went a little longer than i expected but hey uh it's been a while since i built a hemi thanks for watching and if you like please hit the subscribe button um, mostly i've been doing car mechanic simulator videos here lately so hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up if you like it if you see something you like to uh show off hey let me know and i'll put it on a video for you also down in the description i'll put the link to the website a facebook site that we frequent a lot and we show off a lot of the creations over there that uh, we do it is a fun group of guys and girls and um, if you do ask to join please answer both the questions so i know you understand the questions all right you will be accepted if you don't answer them you will be declined all right that's it for tonight i am hearst quasar and have a good night keep customizing i am out